Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will explain you block diagram of 8255 programmable peripheral interface. This is part 3 of 8255. Before I discuss the block diagram of 8255, in my previous video, I have already explained the introduction of 8255 and the pin diagram of 8255. So, the link of that video I will give in my description box. And before I discuss the internal block diagram of 8255, here I give just brief introduction of 8255. Intel 8255 or i8255 is a programmable peripheral interface chip that was developed or de manufactured by Intel. 8255 as the name suggested it is programmable peripheral interface. It means it is programmable. Peripheral means input output device and interface means the device provide communication between two components. So we can say that PPI 8255 is general purpose programmable input output interfacing device that is designed to interface or communicate between the microprocessor and the input output device such as analog to digital converter, digital to analog converter, keyboard etc. Actually initially in 8085 or 8086 Intel facing some difficulties in terms of interfacing or in terms of limited address bus or data bus. So, to increase the interfacing of the microprocessor 8085, 8086 and other decents, Intel designed an interfacing device that is called 8255. So, the main purpose of 8255 for to increasing the interfacing capability of microprocessor. Now, 8255 PPI is available in 40 pin IC. It is economical, flexible, versatile, functional but it is little bit complex. 8255 basically consists of 24 bidirectional input output line that can be divided into 3 8-bit input output ports which can be configured as per the requirement. Now a brief introduction of ports of 8255. As I have already told, 8255 having 24 input output line, this is divided into 3 8-bit bidirectional input output ports. That ports are port A, port B and port C. Each port having 8-bit. So, port A is denoted by PA having 8-bit, PA0 to PA7, B also having 8-bit, PB0 to PB7. Port C also having 8 bit but port C is divided into two ports. Port C lower and port C upper. Port C lower having PC0 to PC3 4 bits and port C upper having PC4 to PC7 4 bits. So these ports are bidirectional ports. It means it is work as a input port as well as a output ports but ports are working as input port or output ports is depend upon the mode of operation of 8255. Now these ports are divided into two groups group A and group B. Group A having complete port A, 8 bit of port A, PA0 to PA7 and a part of port C that is port C upper 4 bit PC4 to PC7. So, we can say that group A having 12 bit, 8 bit of port A and 4 bit of port C upper. Same as it is in group B, group B contain port B, PB0 to PB7 or port C lower 4 bit PC0 to PC3. So, it also having 12 bit, 8 bit of port B and 4 bit of port C lower. So, these are the group of 8255. Now, let's come to the block diagram of 8255 PPI. So, here we see in the diagram, the diagram is logically divided into two parts. This is first group, the upper group, group A control. This is the lower group, group B control. Group A control is connect with port A and the port C upper and group B control is connect with port B and port C lower. So, in group A, we have port A and port C upper. Port A having 8 bit, 
it means PA0 to PA7 and port C upper having 4 bit PC4 to PC7. So we can say that group A control 12 bits, 8 bit of port A and 4 bit of port C. So group A control control the port A and port C upper. Same as it is in group B. Group B control control port C lower and port B. It also having 12 bit. 8 bit of port B that is PB0 to PB7 and 4 bit of port C lower that is PC0 to PC3. Here we see this port also having 8 bit internal data bus. This is bidirectional internal data bus. From this data bus all the ports are connected. The data can be read from the data bus and the data can be written on the data bus. So we have 8 bit internal data bus which is connected with group control and all the ports. Now these ports work as an input port as well as the output port because these are the bidirectional input output ports. So these lines show that these ports are work as input port or output port depend upon the mode of operation of 8255. Now the next block is data bus buffer. Alone with data bus buffer we have 8 bit bidirectional data bus that is D0 to D7. The function of the data bus buffer is to store data temporarily. This is connect with 8 bit bidirectional data bus. Data bus buffer provide communication between the data bus of the microprocessor and the data bus of the Chip. Next block is read write control logic. Read write control logic has having various control signal that decide whether operation is read operation or write operation. Now we discuss the function of each component in detail. First we discuss port A, B and C. These three ports are 8 bit ports. It can be used either as an input port, either as an output port. But these port are work as input port or output port is depend on the mode of operation of 8255. Each port having 8 bit or 8 lines. Port A having 1 8 bit data output latch or buffer and 1 8 bit input latch. If port A work as an input port, input latch is working and provide input data. If port is working as an output port, output latch is work and provide output data. Now port B. Port B is same as port A. Port B also having 8 bit bidirectional input output line used to send data to peripheral or read data from peripheral. It also having 8 bit data output latch and buffer and 1 8 bit input buffer. Now port C. Port C also having 8 bit. It is divided into two parts. Port C lower and port C upper. Port C lower having 4 bit PC0 to PC3. Port C upper also having 4 bit PC4 to PC7. It having 1 8 bit data output latch oblique buffer and 1 8 bit input buffer. Output latch is store output data and input latch is store input data. If this port is work as an input port, input latches work and provide input data. If this port is working as the output port, output latches work and provide output data. These ports are controlled by control group. It means con group A control control the port A and port C upper and group B control control port B and port C lower. These are the internal bidirectional data bus. These port and port controls are connected with 8 bit bidirectional internal data bus. Now data bus buffer. Data bus buffer provide communication between the microprocessor and the chip with the help of 8 bit bidirectional data bus that is D0 to D7 and it also store data temporarily. Next, read write control logic. As I have already told, it having number of control signal. Read, write, A0, A1, reset and CS. Now, I explain all the signal, control signal in detail. Control signal of 8255. First control signal is RD bar. That is read input signal. It is logical low signal. It means it is active when it is logical low or logic zero. 
This control signal enable the read operation. When the signal is low, it is activate and the microprocessor read the data from the selected input output port of 8255. Next is write WR bar signal. This is write input signal. This is also logic low signal because bar over the write. So this signal is activate when the when this pin is zero. This control signal enable the write operation. When the signal goes low, the microprocessor write data or control word into a selected input output port or control register of 8255. Next control signal is CS. CS is the chip select pin. This is also active low input signal. This active low input signal select the chip of 8255. It means when chip select is zero. 8255 get select and 8255 start communicating with cpu of microprocessor so here we see this is the cpu of microprocessor this is 8255 when it, when chip select is zero 8255 get select and start communication with microprocessor next is reset reset is active high signal because there is no bar over the reset so it is active high it clear the control register and set all the port in the input mode we know that there are various mode in 8255 and in which mode 8255 work is decided by the control word of the control register so now if we want to clear the content of control word register this pin is used to reset the control world register of 8255 next is a1 a0 pin these a1 a0 pin are the port address pin they decide the address of the port means they decide out of three port port a b c in which port is to be selected for communication and in which mode it is to be selected this a1 or a0 pin is work with read logic signal write signal and one of the control signal so first here we see how a1 or a0 select the port this a1 or a0 work with chip select pin if chip select pin as i have already told if it is zero it is active and 8255 get select so here we see chip select is zero when chip select zero 8255 get select and communication start A0 and A1 are responsible for port select. So when the combination of A1 or A0 is 0 0, port A get select, 0 1 port B get select, 1 0 port C get select, and 1 1 control register is selected. But now when chip select pin is getting one, it is inactivate and 8255 not selected. so there is result in no selection now as i have already told ki port a b c the three port of 8255 work in work as a input port or a work as a output port because these are the bidirectional ports so which port is work as a input port or which is work as a output port is decided by a0 a1 alone with read or write control signal so first the chip select pin chip select pin is activate or 8255 get selected when it is zero so it is zero now a1 or a2 combination is 0 0 port a get select 0 1 port b get select 1 0 port c get select but when this a b c is work as a input port or output port decided by rd or wr pin when the read signal is activated it means it is logic low zero and write signal is inactivate it is logic 1 the a b c port work as a input port or it perform the input operation it means port a get select in the input operation it port a give data into the data bus port b also perform input operation and port b data is given into the data bus port c data is given into the data bus now when the read signal getting high it means the read signal is inactivate and the write signal is activated it is zero the port a b c is work in output 
mode or output operation will be performed so the data on the data bus is given to the port a data on the data bus is given to the port b and data on the data bus is given to the port c so in this way a0 or a1 is working with read or write or chip control signal now this is the 8255 control world 8255 having control world register the control world is written into the control world register that decide the mode of operation of 8255 in control world we have placed data from d0 to d7 these bit decide in which mode 8255 get work in control world we have to define what type of mode of operation is to be performed by 8255 based on that how 8255 is functioning in my next coming video i will explain in detail the control world of 8255 the mode of operation of 8255 so stay continue now again we see the block diagram this single line which connect the group control and the port and read write logic data bus buffer this single line show the control signal which are given to all the blocks and this double line show 8 bit internal data bus which is bidirectional so this is the block diagram of 8255 programmable peripheral interface